I've gotten many requests from students about how to import graphs or tables that are created in Excel into a Word document. So um, it's really quite easy to do and I'll show you a couple of tricks to help you make any report that you're doing look a little better. So I happen to have some some data here that I've I've downloaded from um, S&P Net Advantage and here I have this table of some different ratios for Microsoft profitability, uh, margin analysis, asset turnover, etc. And I also created just a really simple graph here so I can show you how to import the graph. So let me do the graph first. So all I do is I click on the graph and you can see it's now outlined and I get that plus sign with the arrows going uh, both ways which means I can move it around but I can also right click the mouse and say copy and I'm gonna go to my uh, word file and here I have some stuff written and perhaps I would like to just throw it in here somewhere and I'm gonna right click the mouse and I'm gonna say paste and you can see it's kind of written around it okay it doesn't look quite right but what can we do here? So up here at the top, it's sort of hard to see, these are, it's called layout options, and it allows you to choose how you do the wrapping. Okay, how does it wrap the text around your graph? So I'm gonna choose this one, um, and you can try different ones, and you can see how, how it's starting to wrap around, and I could have information here I could talk about uh, explain the graph and explain exactly what it is and what it does and instead of having just a graph and then writing somewhere else or a graph on a separate piece of paper I can do it here if the graph is a little too large you can again click it on and down here you see the two arrows and you can hold the left mouse key and you can shrink it down a little bit or you can make it a little bit larger if you'd like so a lot of things you can do to make a report look nice. Let me also uh, show you how to import this table. So I have this table here and I don't want to put the whole table in but let me put in let's just say this amount into my document. So I'm going to right click the mouse again I'm going to click copy I'm going to go to my Word file. I'm going to go to where I want it put in. I'm going to put it in right here. I'm going to right click the mouse. I'm going to click paste. Now, there's a pretty big table and it doesn't quite fit. It's going past the margins and stuff. So what can I do here? Again, I can, I can scroll over to the right and you see that open square here? If I move over it, again, I get that those two arrows and if I hold the left mouse key and I sort of drag, I can shrink the table down a little bit. Let me shrink it down a little bit more. And you can see that I've got it to you know, fit a little bit nicer in my um, document here. I can also do the same thing I did before with my, uh, with my graph, is that here I can go over here and I can right click the mouse and I can say table properties and let's see what we have here we have um, different alignments but we have text wrapping so I can have it right now it's none but I can have around and if I do that I'll be able to say I'll be able to type information about the table here so this is a uh, table of Microsoft um, ratios and the ratios provide information on Microsoft's performance. So you can see it's really quite easy to do you can do a little bit of formatting, you can do other things here, but I just wanted to show you the basics of how uh, this is done. So I hope you find this helpful.